Hello guys and welcome back, and today we're going to be talking about Game World of Dishonored. The majority of the world is a hostile and untamed land known as the Pandisian continent. However, the game focuses on the seat of civilization in the world known as the Isles, which is a collection of islands ruled over by an imperial government, although each has its own monarchy and economy and functions essentially like a state. The game itself focuses on the capital city of the Isles, a place known as Dunwall, which is a steampunk Victorian London slash Edinburgh style place. At this time of the game, the city has fallen into disorder and chaos, however it wasn't always like that. In the past, a philosopher known as Esmond Roseborough discovered that whale oil can be extremely useful as a special fuel, and this revolutionised technology and industry. However, the government used this oil and weaponized it. However, with this very powerful weaponry that they developed, it caused the government to become rather corrupt. Amongst this disorder and chaos, worse things are occurring. The Empress Jessamine Caldwin has been assassinated fascinated and a mysterious disease is spreading through the poor, killing them, isolating the rich. The world is filled with corruption. After the Empress's murder, her daughter and only heir was kidnapped. Her loyal bodyguard stands accused, her loyal bodyguard being the main character, in fact playable character of the game. There's a real dystopian nature to the world, or particularly to Dunwall at least, with the wealthy and rich keeping themselves comfortable and safe from the diseases while the poor are overrun with the plague which sets a rather interesting scene for the stealth based game. One thing that I noticed about this game is that it's very very similar to one of the most successful stealth based games and that's Thief. Thief is based in a steampunk world with mysterious goings on with the elite crushing the poor and I wonder if they've took a leaf out of Thief's book. It's not a bad thing if they have. Hopefully they haven't lent too heavily although there's some things that I'll cover in other videos that shows at least there is a similarity there. In the game world there is a thing called the plague, which the game focuses heavily upon. Very little is known about the disease that's sweeping across the entire city. It is said to be spread by rats, although the carriers of the rats seem to be rather large and aggressive, and they're not the normal common sewer vermin that you would expect to see. A once infected victim soon to grow weak ill and highly contagious and one of the common symptoms of having the disease is having bleeding eyes hence the name that they get known as weepers the plague is contributing to the dystopian nature of the world has now given the rich and powerful an excuse to push the weak around and abuse them as much as they can as i already mentioned the game world focuses on something known as whale oil which in this game has a special significance as that is the main source of energy in the world the discovery of whale oil has as a power source of energy by the natural philosopher Esmond Roseborough transformed Dunwall from a simple whirling town into an industrial power. The combustible yet highly volatile fuel source led to a booming economy in which innovation thrived and people of Dunwall prospered. As the technology evolved however, energy was weaponized by the government, ushering in a new era of military modernization with devastating results. It is said that Roseborough was never comfortable with his ultimate legacy and lived his last days in despair and in fact killed himself. Another feature to the game is something known as the Abbey which is the Abbey of the Everyman. It's a religion founded upon the principal belief that the universe is unknowably vast and swarming with all manner of dangerous spirits and forces most of which are hostile to man's existence. Their primary mission is to stand against the mystical being known as the Outsider which is something that we will cover a little bit later on. However within the Abbey is a military faction comprised of overseers who are sworn to combat those who associate with the outsider. They are also said to use ancient techniques that can negate supernatural gifts. The outsider is in fact a key character in the game. He is the one that bestows the main character, our playable character, with magical gifts or magical powers to enable him to gain revenge for being framed for the murder of the Empress. That covers our overview of the game world of Dishonored. Thank you very much for your audience and when we come back we'll have more Dishonored information but that'll be for then. So until then guys, stay safe, take care of yourself. Goodbye.